So the OPEC has decided to cut production in order to boost oil prices. I think the key point which uh, becomes clear from this is uh, it reminds us that the a the world is in a war. You know, Russia Ukraine war is a huge conflict and it engulfs all of Europe and the US. And I think we keep on forgetting about this big conflict um because we in Pakistan are slightly far removed from it but it's a massive massive issue and the second and the perhaps the most important point which this OPEC decision reminds us is that in this war um energy market is a tool of the war it has been deployed for achieving military objectives um and we have seen this earlier as well and then in terms of the sanctions the US put sanctions on Iran restricted their oil exports they did it on Venezuela now they are trying to redo that in order to benefit them on the uh, on the economic side so um the energy markets are a tool a weapon which is used in economic warfare to achieve political outcomes and so we would expect and because Russia is a part of OPEC we would expect Russia to use that platform to also uh, fight back against the the political tools which are being deployed against them Another very important thing to remember is that mid- the Middle Eastern countries have announced massive projects like you know Saudi Arabia has embarked on making this whole city neom which is dependent on very high oil prices so they cannot afford the global economy to bring down oil prices so and i think the middle eastern countries in in general and opec in particular would want oil prices to stay in that range of close to 100 dollars and uh, the, until the globe there is this global conflict especially between you know the russia russia plus china versus us uh, we will see oil prices remain high either driven by supply side restrictions um, enforced by the us or by production cuts enforced by the seller so it's very important to remember that especially in the context of pakistan where some people expect that inflation will come down because oil prices will go down i don't think that will be the case i think we are in a, a situation uh, where supply chains will remain under pressure especially because of this massive shift towards protectionism which started 2 or 3 years ago and has accelerated in the recent past